The Brown County Public Library presents Hotspots, checking out the internet at the library. Hi everybody, my name is Megan Stewart. I am the Youth Coordinator for the Brown County Public Library System, and I also serve as the Youth Librarian at the Fayetteville Perry Library. I've got my contact information here, and I've also included the contact information for all of the BCPL Youth Associates at the end of this presentation. Each branch of the Brown County Public Library has a limited number of hotspots available to place on hold and check out. Mobile hotspots allow library cardholders to easily get online from almost anywhere. You must be 18 years of age or older to borrow a mobile hotspot. You will also need a valid library card issued from the Fayetteville Perry, Georgetown, Mount Oreb, or Sardinia Libraries. In order for your account to be considered valid, it must be more than 90 days old, have no fines or overdue items, and have a current address on file. You cannot check out a mobile hotspot with an e-library card you must have a full service BCPL card. There is a limit of one hotspot per account and one hotspot per household. We ask that the device is kept in a safe location, away from extreme heat or extreme cold smoke, pets, or anything else that might cause damage. We also ask that the device is used as programmed and that its settings are not altered. Hotspots check out for 14 days with no renewal. Overdue devices will be deactivated. Devices must be returned in person to the loaning library. This means if you check out a device from the Mount Oreb location, you will have to return it to the Mount Oreb location. This also means that mobile hotspots cannot be returned in one of our book drops outside of the building. Once your hotspot is due, return the device, all components, and the carrying case, clean and in good condition. A staff member will do a visual check to ensure that the device and accessories are returned in good condition. Hotspots may not be returned in a library book drop. You will be responsible for damaged items. Up to five devices may be connected to the hotspots at a time. This includes mobile phones, tablets, gaming systems, laptops, and even smart TVs. The devices must be used for educational, informational, and recreational purposes only, not for unauthorized, illegal, or unethical purposes. It is important to note that our hotspots do not filter content and parents and guardians are responsible for monitoring their children's online activity. 
The Brown County Public Library is not responsible for websites visited on the mobile hotspot. The library reserves the right to refuse service to anyone who abuses equipment or is repeatedly late in returning electronic devices. The overdue fine for late hotspots is a dollar per day and fines accrue until the device and all components are returned. This means even if we have deactivated the device, you will still accrue your fines until the device is returned. The hotspot must be kept in a temperature controlled environment. Do not leave it in a car. And the borrower is responsible for all costs associated with loss or damage to the device and or its components, including the cords, adapters, and even the case. The borrower is not permitted to purchase replacement items should they lose or damage any component of the hotspot kit. Instead, their account will be charged these replacement fees. Upon checking out a mobile hotspot, patrons will be required to sign and date this user agreement. This will be kept on file until their hotspot is returned, and they will also receive a copy to keep for themselves. If any of your students require the internet for assignments and they don't have access, direct their parent or guardian to BCPL where they will be able to check out a mobile hotspot.